What is going on everyone? My name's Voight and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The actions of the Titans because we have a Titan in this game for you guys today. His name is Scotty. And he is playing as Loki. Funnily enough, Scotty is playing as Loki and Loki doesn't have access to Scotty. So by by the pure essence of being Scotty, now Loki is also does also have access to Scotty. Make sense of that if you will. I'm pretty sure it makes no sense, but we'll see how this game is going to go. Moving up here into the top side of the map, we do have Taco. He sells tacos and I like tacos. Speaking of tacos, have you guys ever tried to make from scratch tacos? That's something that I really want to do cuz I feel like they're really yum. I've got this. I haven't done it before, but I've got this feeling that they're really yum. Uh, leave a comment and let me know about your culinary experiences and things that you think are amazing. Because I am I like food and I want food in my life. Anyways, uh, he's playing as Hades. The map is um, obviously Midgard. Loki versus Hades on Midgard. I like this matchup. I think this matchup is a really, really fun one. I played so many beautiful... Talk more about tacos. I don't know what else. Oh, okay. So amazing ingredients to put in tacos. Brisket. If you can get your hands on brisket tacos. Yes. Josh Weissman on YouTube. I don't know. We're talking too much about tacos here, but I have Josh Weissman's book, uh, which I have um, read a little bit. And yeah, I, I haven't done anything out of it yet. Tacos will be the first thing. Onwards and upwards. We're going back to the game here. Uh, so, this matchup here, I think that the the one of the more interesting matchups on Midgard has to be the matchups like Norse versus Hades on uh, on Midgard. Reason being is that Hades doesn't have access to Dionysus, which is a really really big weakness in the Hades kit against Norse, because Dionysus is free Skylar, cheap Skylar. Uh, cheap, strong myth unit for the water, which can be really tough to deal with. So that allows Norse to find advantages through Njord, find advantages through Tyr, find advantages through uh, Hell and Ragnarok and Baldur, all these things, uh, very big advantage. Where, But then again, Hades has also got access to Paspist, and Toxodes that are really strong, and Hades Shades, all the other things, accelerated shenanigans on the stuff. It's always kind of crazy, all the good things. Anyways, I'm excited to see what happens here and what uh, what Scardi is going to come up with. Thank you for the prime here, Emir. Emir Dahan. Emir Dahan. Thank you so much for the prime, my friend. Welcome to the club of uh, age mythology enthusiasts who really should be finding something better to do with their time. But I don't know if there is something better to do with my time. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I love this game. It's so much fun. It's just so much fun. Can't wait for Retold. It's going to be a great time. Black Lotus on the map. Not the most useful of relics here. Pelt of Argus as well. Normally, I love Black Lotus, but on a water map, you don't farm very often, so it's not that good. Anyways. Uh, Temple now up for Scardi. He's only got the one dock down here. Uh, I do think that Norse build orders on Midgard are really important. If you aren't getting yourself uh, a five minute to five minute 15 advance time with a ton of fishing ships and at least three docks by the time you hit the classical age, and I mean like 15 to 18 fishing ships and three docks, I think you've got to look at the build order you're doing on Midgard and start trying to figure it out a bit better because Greek players are doing 5.15 advance times. This is a 5.30 advance time, but 5.15 advance times with 18 fishing ships, three or four docks. Egyptian players are doing 5.15 advance times with five docks and 18 fishing ships. Atlantean players are doing 4.30 advance times with fishing ships continuing to come out while putting pressure on. All of this stuff is very important. And if you're not doing it with Norse, you're finding yourself having uh, some difficult times. We'll see how things are going to go as 
the classical age has hit for Scardi. It doesn't look like he is getting himself out per scene just yet, but he is still building fishing ships. So I like that from Scardi. He goes for a, a faster advance time. Uh, but still getting fishing ships out to kind of get the rest that he needs while he's going to start putting pressure onto Icel Taco's main base here. Ajax coming out straight away for Icel Taco. We're just going to call him Taco here. That's why we were talking about tacos. As Persine is coming out now for Scardi Taco. Not yet. He's getting himself hand axe. He's got himself his, uh, his Minotaur over here. And this is Scardi almost forcing... Uh, Taco into playing a little bit on the land here as a couple of trireme going to start coming through as this dock uh, going to come up for Scardi. We'll see if he's going to be able to get it out in time. I'm not sure if he's quite going to be able to do so. Do I have a question in the chat? Who is Taco? And I don't exactly know. I do know he's relatively strong. He's an 1800 plus player. Uh, and if we take a look at him, it says he's from Greece. However much you want to believe he's from Greece, I don't know. But We'll see how things are going to go as the uh, Minotaur comes over here. The troll does get taken down. And this will give Scardi the time he needs to get this dock up. Going to be happy about that one. He's now on 18 fishing ships in a nice position here. Uh, so still piling through. And this will probably allow Scardi to either go full population here in the Classical Age or, or be able to cut uh, production of his units and go Heroic Age here really, really soon. And have a nice time with that as he's continuing to try and target this sentry tower down. But now Sentinels has been clicked. Toxodes are out. And Scardi is going to have to retreat back here. And we'll see how things are going to go. The house coming up for Scardi over here. He's continuing to pump units out. Taco, very smartly here. He's not, well, I think he's not overcommitting to units. He's got a lot of food in the bank. If he stops building units and goes heroic age here, as we do see the Ursa uh, attempting to snipe down this dock over here, as the wall's going to come up as well. But if Taco can get Heroic Age here, he can start making those Apaspists and start dealing with these Herso really, really easily. Now the raid's coming around the side here as Scardi still doesn't have himself Hall of Thanes, but he will be able to pressure these villages away and the villages do find a nice retreat path through here to kind of deal with this. As Scardi now sitting out on this side here with his longboats, ready to start pushing and getting some damage done as... Uh, this has to retreat back, but Scardi now, look at this, he's able to get to the next age here. He's got the resources to go there. Does he have an armory up? It looks like there is There is an armory up somewhere. I don't see it, but he's got one. There it is. Bragi on the way here for Scardi. We'll see how things are going to go here. Hall of Fame's also coming through as a some sort of heroic age timing attack. Not going to be a bad idea. Also, you can go Mythic Age here as well to boot as the, the uh, Longboat's coming in onto this position, putting some pressure onto those Trireme, keeping his Longboat's nice and healthy on the back here as he's able to snipe down those Triremes fairly easily here. So the Trireme does get taken out, and now we've got the Taco unit starting to push through. They do manage to find the dwarves here, but the gold mine's basically finished, so they can move over onto this side as well as the army for Scardi coming back here. He's got a little bit of gold left in the bank. I'm surprised he comes back to finish that gold mine there with 50 gold left, but maybe he doesn't quite realize how much gold is there as he loses a dwarf, potentially a second dwarf here as well as the battle boar coming in onto this position. Watchtower's coming through. Bit overkill, but the, the flaming weapons getting dropped down here. A restoration getting dropped as well as this is going to be a huge amount of favor for Scardi here as the army of... I sell Taco is going to get absolutely destroyed. Myth unit spawns up the wazoo here for Scardi. That is a technical term, and it effectively means tons of Myth unit spawns coming through here for Scardi as Taco has to retreat back. However, flaming weapons has been used. Big power spike here for Scardi down the drain, uh, and Taco here he's going to be able to just sit in his main base for a little bit, get next age, and he should be uh, completely 
fine here at this point. As the army going to be retreating back ever so slightly. As the market comes up here for Scardi and the army coming through. But has the next age coming through? Uh, Aphrodite the god of choice. I like the idea here from Taco to get himself out the Chiron first. Instead of going up to the Heroic Age here, getting that Chiron out to deal with those myth units is going to be a good idea. I mean, he's going for a raid over here, but little to Tarko's knowledge. He does not know this. The Ajax has got Spy on it, and it's moving in to hit this location. And I'm sure, well, I would have thought that Scardi would retreat back here and just deal with this army. But the Dwarves are going to very calmly retreat off of this gold mine here into the main base here. Not going to be a problem at all. Now the house getting taken down over on this uh, position here as well. Nice play from Scotty. I like this. I, I've been talking about this a little bit. Like when you get raided just a little bit, you can just build one... Uh, one kind of dragon ship, and you should be completely fine. As we do see this gold mine getting targeted down, and now Taco moving into the middle of the uh, middle of the map here, storehouse coming down on this position as the uh, Ainia coming through. The villagers will get pushed off this gold mine. Town center now coming down for Scardi. The game is very, very close at this point, but hell is on the way for Scardi, and he has 100 favor in the bank, which is absolutely huge. He's going to be able to get himself out four, uh, three, three fire giants, but also the free one is a fourth fire giant to be getting out here at this point, as he does get a bit of a, uh, a path block over here. But more units coming out for Scardi as this Townsend are just about to pop as well. A bit of a strange position to be grabbing that one right in the face of Tarko. Uh, but we'll see how things are going to go. If he's going to be able to deal with what's coming for him. He will probably... I mean, if he gets a fort down on this large gold mine, he might be okay. One fort just to hold against the uh, the Nidhogg and everything else that comes down. He's got plenty of wood in the bank as well. You can throw up the market or something and, tr and sell that wood for everything as well. We'll see how things are going to go here as uh, Scardi retreating back. There's the Nidhogg getting dropped down onto this location here as the Fire Giant starting to move forward. And we see Rampage coming through for Scardi. This is absolutely huge. For those of you who don't know, Rampage allows Myth units to be trained nearly instantly for Loki. And he's going to be spamming out these Fire Giant so absurdly quickly. He's got Fire Giant coming out of this home, oh, this Ford Temple. And he cancelled it or something? I'm not sure what he's doing, but the army pushing through here. Toxod is retreating back. Is he about to start pumping them out? Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So when, when Rampage comes through, the, the units stop training or something? I'm not sure. But Scardi going to be able to pump these Fire Giant out so absurdly fast when he wants to. Wait, what is he doing? He's building Frost Giant? What, what's happening here? He's not building any at this point. I'm a bit confused. A bit confused. But now the Fire Giant coming out, and you can just see them sitting at full population, so he can't really get them out straight away. But now we've got Hapaspis coming through, but Fire Giant absolutely murder Hapaspis here in this game. So we'll see how that's going to go. As now I sell Taco over on this gold mine as well. We've got the uh, the cheeky Drakars coming through for Scardi at this point to start harassing the fishing ship. And Taco, I mean, he's got resources in the bank to, to work with here, but he doesn't have the gold here. And... Scardi is all over him here. He's grabbing this town center. I wouldn't mind seeing this one go up as well behind all of this, but doesn't quite have the resources to make it work. It's the fire giant coming through here to help out. Hapaspis coming through here to start taking down these uh, these hearths. Uh, 
as uh, the, like, the fire giant just do so much damage here. The pacifist doing their best to try and hold on in this position. Is that a fire giant spawn there for the Ursa? Absolutely gigantic. As Scardy, he's still pushing through. He's only got five Drakkar, six Drakkar here. He's still building more. Are they on auto queue? Uh, they are on auto queue. It's not something you really want to be doing. You, you're just building like five ish of those navy units is more than enough, but it looks like Scardi is moving in to try and just completely remove Taco's, uh, Taco's fishing economy here, which will slow Taco down uh, quite a bit here, and he does decide to tap out in that position there. After all is said and done, it's such a strong option here, getting to that Mythic Age here with Loki against everyone. There's very few civilizations, if they can't get to the Mythic Age, that can deal with the Fire Giant. The Fire Giant is so absurdly strong. Uh, and also Rampage coming through as well to help spam those out kind of just immediately, effectively. If he has the resources to build it, they just come out and they just do so much damage. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next game.